Hi, my name is Scott Aronson and I'm a private chef. I'm here to tell you the differences between a blender and a food processor. Now, other than the obvious differences, their names, uh, the food processor has a certain capacity for liquid, okay? If you overfill it, it will leak. And you'll notice that it has a line, most food processors will have a line on the reservoir that shows you that you can't fill it over a certain point. Blenders, of course, are made for liquid. And you can fill them up pretty much all the way. Now, the other difference are the blades. You have a blade that is serrated for a food processor. And the blade for a blender is not serrated and they're actually in a different manner, somewhat so it can aerate and, and force air into whatever you're making here. Now, I recommend that if you're making a soup or a sauce, uh, anything liquid, you can use your blender and blend it down to a nice smooth consistency. If you're making a puree soup or, or a sauce, a pomodoro sauce, you just blend it down to the consistency that you want. Now, if you're just making a small sauce or for instance, a dressing, you can absolutely use your food processor for that because you're probably not gonna go over this liquid max. The other difference is that you wanna use your food processor, you can use it to shred cheese. You can use it to slice. Now, that's simply by using the different attachments like such and utilizing it in the manner in which you need it. Now, a blender is not going to be able to do that. So you'll need to utilize your food processor for slicing and shredding and your blender for all of your liquids. Now, if you need to blend down some almonds, for instance, I would recommend you use your food processor, okay? If you need to chop down something, use your food processor. The blender is generally for liquids and try to go with that. That's probably a good rule of thumb. The differences between the two if you don't have a food processor, you can by all means use your blender to let's say blend down the almonds or blend down, uh, and, and I'm using blending, I don't mean to use blending. You can chop down the, the almonds to the size that you want and you'll probably be able to accomplish that with a blender. But you'd probably be better off having the choice of a food processor or blender. So if all you have is a blender, you might be able to make do. But if I had the choice, I would absolutely choose the food processor because it's what it's made for. And it has so many different applications. See the difference, then you'll know, and then you'll realize where you'll make your choices of when to use your blender and when to use your food processor. And that's the differences between food processors and blenders. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe and check out our other great videos. If you have any questions or comments, please don't hesitate to email me at requests at mahalo.com.